<laughs> How's it going, bros? My name is Peter Pat, and let's find out why my channel is dying. Google Trends, everyone. A wonderful tool that seems underutilized. Have you ever looked on Google Trends? Has anyone ever done this video before? Am I the first one? Oh my god, did I just have an original idea? That's awesome! A few days ago, me and Jack did a video where we looked a little bit into Google Trends. But I want to really dig deeper. I want to truly understand why everyone else is doing so goddamn good and not me. So let's find out. Cool. <sighs> Maybe my channel's dying because I can't write it! PewDiePie. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like I'm not the only one with this problem. Pydaipu. Who the hell is Pydaipu? Norwegian YouTuber Pydaipu. He's my favorite. He's so funny. He's so good. All right, let's just go into this. So here we get an interest over time graph. Pretty interesting, I would say. You know, it's, it's there. You don't really get the full picture unless you hit the whole graph. So let's start up here. In 2012, this is when I, I, I guess I started becoming more popular. I'm not exactly sure what date represent what but i hit my peak at 2014 what happened in 2014 i need to understand so someone made a playlist i guess i played games in 2014 <laughs> no controversy no nothing huh i'm actually in the same room <laughs> nothing's changed five years jesus christ when did i become the biggest channel in 2013 Damn, it's been a long time. It's 2013 and then I, I peaked in 2014. And then it all just, it all just went down. <laughs> I think it's interesting to note, at least for me, because anyone that came before me, almost every single channel that has been before me has just disappeared, okay? Everyone that's been bigger than me, they've all, they're all gone. Because of this fact, I've always just looked at YouTube like it could end at any day. Like I should just be ready to pack my da bags at any day. I actually, oh wait, let me see if I can find that. Sorry, I'm, this is, video is just going to be one giant tangent. So I did a, I think in 2012, I did a, I did a presentation. Do not Google it for the love of God. But I, I found the pictures <laughs> and I talked about, you know, doing let's plays as a job people didn't really know anything about it at the time look here i'm showing off my stats being like hey guys it's going pretty well <laughs> there was one information that i i was really interested by sick of boring let's plays i am your salvator i found the presentation where is it beautiful faces of horror okay okay so how did i get to where i am full-time job two videos every day do something different live myself into the game lot so what happens in the future i thought it was interesting how i kind I question how we, if it was something stable or not with laws and regulations and copyright. I thought these things would hit uh, quicker. I really, I was so unsure whether it would even be allowed to monetize gameplay on YouTube. I think it's it's one of those things where people really fought for and, and to try and convince companies as well that it's benefit fitting for them. Like these big publishers like EA, Bethesda, whatever, they benefit from people playing their game. And they them understanding that has really had a huge impact on uh, on YouTube and gaming. I, I can easily see it going another way where gaming would just not be allowed on YouTube. And I, that's always been in the back of my head. You know, n and now in the future, 2019, nothing's really changed. It's Article 13, all this stuff's happening. I think this is where Wall Street Journal happened. I think it happened in February because it was literally on Valentine's Day. <laughs> it was here. So this is a Wall Street Journal. And then ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba, just been kind of stable for a long time. And then Jesus Christ T-Series. <laughs> but my favorite part of this graph is when I go, hey, guys, let's end the su subscribe PewDiePie meme. Like we shouldn't do this anymore. OK. <laughs> Skydive graph. <laughs> you know, this is the kind of reports you want to see. A full-on economic crash. Thank you guys so much. I can't wait to hit 100 million subscribers in a couple of years. No one cares, Felix. Fine. You know what? This is just America. What if, like, in Afghanistan, I'm actually popular? Zero. What about Chad? What about Chad? God damn it, Chad. So, according to this... Uh, state of america i am most popular in the state of lova 
What the frick is that? What the dumb name of a state? Lova? <laughs> what do you love so much? <laughs> Which country am I most popular in? Sweden! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you, Sweden. Very cool. T too bad you're such a tiny, insignificant country. Come on. I need... Imagine if I was the biggest one in India. Oh my god, this is so sad. I am so oppressed. If I was born in any other country, everything would be different. Norway, come on. What is this? <laughs> Despite years of abuse, Norway's Norwegian bros are still here. Thank you guys. Very good. <laughs> New Zealand, Australia, Estonia, what? What is this? Philippines is my second biggest country. Damn, Filipinian bros. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so what are the most search related terms for PewDiePie? PewDiePie, Swedish YouTuber. I don't understand why people make it all about me being Swedish. I never make my channel about being Swedish. Of course, T-Series number two. So this is what most people have searched in related to me. I think that's what it is. And then the third most related is my net worth. Sorry, Marcia, you're not as important. <laughs> Marcia comes uh, forth. My net worth, PewDiePie net worth. So basically what this means is that most people that search PewDiePie, search PewDiePie net worth. So really, in reality, what I should do is I should title this video PewDiePie net worth and that will inevitably give me a lot of views based on search terms. But according to this, I, I my net worth is 20 million, 20 million dollars. It's more, it's more. I am sorry, but it's a bit more than that, Google. I don't know exactly how net worth is me uh, measured, but if it's based on how much money on my bank account, then I'm sorry. <laughs> You're coming a little short there, buddy. Oh, god damn it. It, it turns out I've Before already done the net begins. I've already done the net worth meme. <laughs> Marzia Bizognin, Italian internet personality. Let's look at how Marzia is doing. Oh, <laughs> projection that it might go up. Well, that's good. Connecticut. Okay. Happy Wheels video game, guys. Happy Wheels video game. <laughs> I can't believe that's the fifth highest. People always associate me with horror games, but I guess Happy Wheels was bigger. Markiplier! That's insane. So many people Google me and Markiplier. We barely done any videos together. We did this one. As no one searched, there it is. Scare PewDiePie. Scare PewDiePie at 100 million. Let's get it, please. <laughs> All right, so let's compare to another YouTuber. What's a YouTuber doing well? Mr. Beast. Never mind. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait. Oh, okay. He's doing really well. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Australia and New Zealand. Do you do anything but watch YouTubers? Mr. Beast, Network, Networks, me, Mr. Beast, PewDiePie, PewDiePie. How are the How are the Paul brothers doing? Look at this dude. Holy sh! Look how much bigger they were than me at some point. That's crazy. So Jake Paul has technically been bigger than I've ever been. None me. All right, who's bigger than Logan and Jake Paul? Holy sh! Dude. Holy fuck. Okay, so Logan is blue. I'm red. Look at Logan. Holy shit. That's nuts. So the the suicide forest was literally uh, four times as big as the PewDiePie versus T-Series stuff. That's nuts. That is crazy. Am I the only one interested by this? Okay, so we now know... We are failing, but that doesn't mean we give up. God damn it. Subscribe. God damn it. I need a hundred million. There's another website that lets you look at statistics and analytics. Of course, Social Blade. I used to be obsessed with Social Blade, and I think a lot of YouTubers are. A lot of YouTubers go on Social Blade and they look at their own stats and they compare it to other people and they, they frantically, I think that makes a lot of people really, really depressed. <laughs> Why am I laughing? Gee, what's wrong with me? <laughs> it's just that imagine that you have a job and how well you are performing in that job is 100% public and 100% comparable to all your peers. Like there's some deep psychological 
emotional stress that is always lingering for a lot of YouTubers. I literally have not gone on Social Blade in like four years. I, I just stopped. I don't know why, what happened. After a while, it just, luckily, it just, ironically, it hit me. It doesn't matter. Like, I don't care how many subscribers I have. I, it doesn't matter. And I don't have to waste time just obsessing about this stuff. But I do remember, I used to obsess about this stuff. And I think a lot of YouTubers do, especially comparing themselves. So my views are up. Yay! <laughs> my subscribers are... <laughs> Subscribe? Please. Estimated monthly earnings. Yeah, seems about right. <laughs> I used to complain so much when I saw these estimated monthly earnings. Be like, that's ridiculous. How can I possibly make that much money? And then clearly I have been very poorly monetizing my channel. Like before I would make four minute videos. You barely make any money on those. Like that's impossible. How can everyone make so much money? Oh, oh, I'm not monetizing my channel. Oh, okay, cool. Well, maybe that's a part of the reason. 21 billion views. That's fucking nuts, dude. Okay, so what I really want to investigate here is the top subscribers. Who's gaining the most subscribers right now? Okay, 300,000 in a day? Jesus Christ! Knowledge TV. <laughs> Teach me. Clearly, I need to become Indian. I'm beginning to see a pattern here. <laughs> Okay, well that was analytics with PewDiePie. Hope you guys thought this was interesting. I've literally uploaded every single day for as long as I can remember, taking minimum breaks as much as I can possibly take. Take. It's crazy to me how I still enjoy it. I don't get it either. Why am I here? It's fun. I don't know what to tell you. One thing that I am thinking about is like, I've never had a proper break. Like, I never had a long break where I'm just a normal fucking person that isn't constantly thinking about YouTube. But literally, if I took a break, it would kill my channel. The way YouTube is shaped at this point is like, you just have to keep making videos. Otherwise, there won't be anything to come back to. We've seen this happen to so many YouTubers that go on a break and then, Hey guys, what's up? Oh, everyone is gone. Oh no, they didn't like, leave. The algorithm made it. So, you know, that's always a fun lingering fact at the back of your mind. Being YouTuber is such an easy job. You guys don't understand. It doesn't even matter. We're all going to be replaced by AI in the future. This has been PewDiePie Analytics. Subscribe, goddammit. Goodbye. What? You never played Tuber Simulator. <sighs> you know, it's fun, right? I'm not supposed to give my opinion. But give it a try. And then you can tell me if it's good or not. Not convinced yet? Okay. I'll cut you a deal. The game is available for free. And that's a great price. <laughs>